away, six days away from WrestleMania. I am pumped. I don't know about y'all, but this is like literally the apex of every wrestling fan right now. We are so excited about what's going to go down on WrestleMania because honestly, the card really looks pretty solid. There's so many matches to choose from. There's so many ways it can go. I love the predictability of it all as well as the interests. Guys, I am stoked. I am crunk about all this. Seriously, straight up. But guys, this is my preview of WrestleMania 30. I'm going to do this, get this out of the way, and I actually am going to do a review, as usual, like tradition, with Tama Girl and Big D. When, we are, when I'm in Atlanta, watching it from Buffalo Wild Wings, we are going to do a review on the way back <laughs> from watching WrestleMania 30, so y'all stay tuned to that. But this is a preview, so let's get started with the preview. There are so many matches to choose from, guys. None of these are standalone. So I'm just going to pick one at random, and let's talk about John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Honestly, guys, Bray Wyatt needs this win more than John Cena. But John Cena has suffered an epic loss the last WrestleMania, WrestleMania 28, to The Rock. And even though it was kind of a ridiculous win that he had at WrestleMania 29, when he actually went, you know, against The Rock again, honestly... I don't really see Bray Wyatt winning. I want Bray Wyatt to win. He needs his win more than John Cena does. But let's be realistic here. The win actually is going to go to John Cena. It's not my choice, but my choice is Bray. But let's be realistic here. It's going to be John Cena for the win. Let's go on to the next match. The WWE Tag Team Championship Fatal 4-Way match. Honestly, guys, I don't see any of these guys winning. I actually do see Real Americans coming close, but I don't see Real Americans actually taking the cake. Because we know that Cesaro is going to leave. Uh, it's pretty much kind of teased for Cesaro to actually be leaving the Real Americans. And I think he's going to probably take Deb Coulter in tow. And kind of leave Jack Swagger standing looking like an idiot once again. So I honestly don't see them winning. I actually see the Usos retaining their championship. Even though a lot of the IWC and YWC as well as myself agree that they should have won in the first place against the New Age Outlaws here instead of on the last one, on Raw, but, well, it, it happened. So we just got to deal with that and move on. But my choice is the Usos for the win. Let's move on to The Shield versus Kane and New Age Outlaws. Well, honestly, they keep teasing that The Shield's going to break up. They keep teasing that The Shield is actually stronger than ever. We don't know which direction they're going to go. But I really do see that Roman Reigns is going to step out on his own. He's going to be the dominant guy that's going to be pushed a lot further than um, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Even though Seth Rollins, in my opinion, is probably the new age, um, I, I guess you could probably say that. He, he's kind of like the new age Jeff Hardy, uh, the next Jeff Hardy. So I really do see him st sticking around in the tag team. But I really do feel that maybe Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins are going to probably be a tag team from now on, while Roman Reigns is going to go out on his own as a solid I hope they don't turn him face. I really hope they keep him heel, but I really don't see that happening. He seems like they're turning him more face than anything else. But I really do see that they're going to break up. They may not win this. It might be Kane and New Age Outlaws. It don't really make sense because New Age Outlaws are not going to be there for that long. They're vets. They're going to dip out after WrestleMania. But honestly, guys, Kane's going to probably take it. So Kane and New Age Outlaws for the win. I'm hoping I'm wrong because I actually like the Shield. It's going to be a shame to see them broken up. But let's move on to the next match. This is the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I've actually had many talks, many disputes with NJ about this. And honestly, guys, it can go either way. I'm rooting for, uh, I'm rooting for, uh, uh, I forget, my name is, it's tongue tied right now because there's so many people in this match to choose from. But honestly, Dolph Ziggler is the guy that I really want to win. Even though that's not the choice for a lot of people, I really do feel that Dolph Ziggler really does need to have his WrestleMania moment. He hasn't had one, so I really feel that this will be like the pinnacle, the apex for him. But let's be real. People are choosing the big show. The big show is more than likely to take everybody out in this entire thing. I highly doubt that, you know, that I, I, I actually doubt that anybody else is going to win. It's going to be down to Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Big Show, and Big E. I really feel like it's going to probably be between those three. But my choice, personally, is Dolph Ziggler for the win. Moving on to the Vicky Guerrero Divas Championship Invitational, which was probably going to turn into an elimination match. 
Who knows? It will be interesting, more interesting, mind you, if it is an elimination match. And the reason why is because you got the Bella Twins in it. They'll be going against each other. And you got the Funkadactyls in it. And they'll be going against each other, which is going to be really interesting to watch. So honestly, guys, I am hoping it's an elimination match because it's going to see how they're going to react when they have to throw, when, when the Bellas have to throw one of their sisters over or the Funkadactyl is going to have to throw somebody else over and how it's going to go after WrestleMania. So I wouldn't be surprised it's going to be a, a, an elimination match. But honestly, y'all, we don't know. I don't see AJ keeping this belt. I don't. There are several choices here that I really do feel that may have the win, either deserve it or don't. But I will say it's going to be either Tamina, Naomi, Nikki, or Natalia. I'm not choosing Natalia. I'm not a big fan of hers. Pretty much after what I saw on Total Divas, maybe I'm a little bit judgmental, but she's a boring champion. Let's be real. When she had a championship before, it was a great try for her to win for the first time, but she was a very boring champion. I want somebody that's more interesting that will bring more interest to the belt. That's why I choose Nikki. Personally, I choose Nikki Bella for the win. Nikki or Naomi. It's kind of a toss-up right now. I like Naomi because Naomi will pretty much be the second African-American to have the Divas title in her hands. Even though Alicia Fox is one, even though I consider that to be a fluke. But I really do feel that it would be great for Naomi to win. It will be great for her career. And it will just go up from there. Which means that more than likely she's going to split up from the Funkadactyls. But honestly, it's going to be either Naomi, but I would love to see Nikki. I would love to see Nikki as a champ because I really do feel that Nikki will bring more interest to the belt. As well, and, But Naomi will bring more prestige to the belt. So I'm kind of like, eh. So I really feel that my choice is it's going to be either Naomi or Nikki. Those are my two choices here. But I know it's not going to be AJ. But let's go on to the next match. Well, these matches have been well talked about, well hyped over. It's very difficult to even choose a winner here. So I'm going to go, before I talk about the streak, I'm going to go into the two most talk about matches besides the streak. Let's talk about Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. Man, this has pretty much started an entire revolution, the yes revolution, the yes movement, whatever you call it. It's all about Daniel Bryan getting the hype, getting the push, getting the win. All the fans want this man to win. I really do see him beating Triple H. I see Daniel Bryan winning that match. But do I see him winning the, the, the triple threat? I don't know. So so I really do see Daniel Bryan winning against Triple H. But let's talk about the, uh, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match with Batista and Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. Let's put Daniel Bryan in this whole situation. Now, honestly, y'all, I don't necessarily see Daniel Bryan actually taking a belt because he's going to be screwed again. But a part of me feels like that the WWE is good. This going to be even more high for Daniel Bryan. It's going to be even a bigger craze for him. If they want to kill it, they got to have him win. They have to have him have a really healthy title reign for a few months. And then the crowd dies down. And the insanity will end. Because I'm not going to lie. The fans of Daniel Bryan are starting to get on my nerves a bit. I like DB. I got no issues with DB. But I will be real. His fans are annoying. So I would really like for him to win. Plus, it will, he will really need, I mean, it will be really great for him to have his own WrestleMania moment. So I choose Daniel Bryan for the for the win. This is going to be random, y'all. Daniel Bryan for the win with probably some interference from Triple H. If Triple H takes the win, it will be even more interesting. But my choice goes to DB just to kill off the entire yes movement because it's starting to bug me a little bit. Now, guys, let's talk about the main talk about match of the year. Everyone who is anyone waits for this match to happen. We all know what we're looking for when it comes to WrestleMania, and it's this match here, The Streak. We're talking about Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. I've had heated debates about this, and I'm still torn. I've had, sometimes I have a decision, but it don't say fix. I really don't see Undertaker keeping it. I don't. I don't see Undertaker winning it. I'm keeping it real right here. Because honestly, y'all, Undertaker has went through a lot of brutality. Even though the fact that he has a year off the train, I have noticed in other pay-per-views that his opponents had to dumb it down for him. That you, you've seen these guys at their apex. You've seen these guys at their highest. And they literally had to dumb it down for him to make him look strong. I saw that at WrestleMania 29. I saw that at WrestleMania 28. 
I but I saw the full potential of Triple H at WrestleMania 27 as well as The Undertaker at WrestleMania 27. His body can't take it. You can tell he can't take it. He looked emaciated and he looked sick when WrestleMania 28. He looked even more sick at WrestleMania 29. We look a little bit healthy at WrestleMania 29, but I don't see him winning this, guys. I don't. So my vote goes to Brock Lesnar for the win. It's going to be 21 and 1. I don't see 22 and 0 happening here. But guys, those are my previews. I know it's going to spark a lot of talk about this, but I want to hear your thoughts. Tell me who you're going to who you think is going to win the streak. Tell me who you're going to think is going to win the triple threat match. I want to know your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section below or send me a video response about your opinions and your thoughts about WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30. And guys, expect a review from me from Atlanta with my two homies, Big D and Tama Girl. So expect that to happen. It's Deja Girl 30 signing off. Peace out.